Time 719, no decision yet on whether a local politician will be allowed to keep his spot on the Houston Community College Board. On Friday, a judge asked for more evidence that Dave Wilson doesn't live in the trustee district he was elected to represent. Wilson, who won office amid allegations he hid his race, maintains he lives above an industrial building in northwest Houston. He says he administered the oath of office to himself before the county attorney received the restraining order and he plans to attend next week's board meeting. I'm going to sit up front and I'm going to vote, do the whole thing, yes. I might even, I might even uh, uh, lobby to become chair of the board too. The HCC board meets this Thursday night. The next court hearing in the case is Friday and a decision on the validity of his residency could be determined then. So should the HCC board allow Dave Wilson to sit in on this week's meeting while questions remain about where he lives? That's what we're talking about this half hour, and we want to hear from you. You can share your thoughts on our Fox 26 Facebook page as well as Twitter at Sally Mac Fox 26. I'll be checking that in our newsroom. We have Chris Tridico, Jackie Bally and Mustafa Tamiz. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. So do you guys think he should take his seat at the meeting this week? He says he will be there. I, I think that if the HCC board, the current board uh, believes that there is a severe question about his residency as the county attorney does and they should probably take action to prevent him from taking that seat until this is resolved. But it's really up to them. They're an independent governmental agency. The judge has not yet barred him from taking that seat. Uh, we'll see if the judge will intervenes before uh, the first meeting on the thing. But you know, the thing about Dave Wilson is, is he is uh, the story that just keeps giving, isn't he? And he's going <laughs> to take over Obamacare on the, on the story, on the Never. show here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, you, I've seen those pictures and yes. this is the second time that Dave Wilson has had problems with that same residence. The Democratic Party refused to put him on the ballot. Right. That, le that case is still being litigated. Now he's getting sued by the county attorney over the same issue. Yeah, when does this go away? He's cracking me up because the more he stays in, around, the more we get to talk about him. Right. And it, it makes it very interesting. His apartment, well, if I you think call it that. I also think it's ironic. He says he wants to bring transparency to the board. But he won't yet, let anybody see the apartment. But he's not transparent <laughs> in his own actions. That's right. There's no refrigerator, no tub, nowhere, no, I mean, it, really, that's an apartment that you're staying at? He is laughing his way up until this meeting. Of course he's going to go to the meeting. Of course he's going to lobby to be uh, head of the of the board because he's not taking any of this seriously. He was the one who pretended to be black and then laughed whenever, ha ha, I got elected. So he is making a mockery of this in, entire process. And until the, the, the judge, judge actually says you are not allowed to do something, he's going to continue to push and do things that are very questionable. But apparently a judge saying you're not allowed to do something doesn't stop him either. <laughs> Nothing seems to stop him. And, and the sad part about this is that <coughs> HCC has more students than U of H, uh, Rice, uh, and St. Thomas combined. Over 70,000 students go to HCC. It's a, it's a major institution. It's a big part of our workforce development. And you've got this, um, you know, this kindergarten uh, like behavior out of Dale, Dave Wilson from the beginning, and and it, we have to come to a, a point where we stop this. So. And this board has had a lot of problems. I mean, they've, they've had some changes this year. Zeth Capo got elected, and there was hope that the, that this board would would calm down and do the work for the students and not have all of these internal problems. And it still just continues. Well, and and and, and Dave Wilson is causing a lot of right. it at this point, and so. If, if for some reason we're not able to take him out of the office because of his residency, and I think Mr. Allen's doing a good job about this, but if that's not happened, then I think that they should, we should look into a way of, of impeaching him off that board. I just don't understand how he was allowed, when he turned in his application, especially since we've had problems with his residency before, how someone be behind the scenes in HCC didn't check up to make sure that this is a valid or, address. Or the party that put him on exactly. didn't check. I, I don't know the answer. Let me go to um, Sally. She's monitoring our our social media. Accounts. Our viewers on Facebook right now are talking about the allegations that he faked his race. Steven says if people actually paid attention to who they voted for, his race wouldn't matter. They would still like him for his views and policies. Janelle counters. She says, uh, you know, it is unfortunate that some people vote according to race, but some people feel voting for someone who looks like them will make sure that there are policies that will deal with the issues and concerns that matter to them. You know, and, and race, of course, is not an issue in this lawsuit. Uh, his whatever his race is, white, uh, African American, or whatever, that's not the issue. The issue is residency. 
But let's t let's just talk about the race thing for well, a minute. I, I mean, uh, the, the the last viewer said mm -hmm. people want to vote for somebody that follows that that supports their views. I think the race issue here is that you lied to me. He did lie, but I think it was up to the voters to do their research to find out who they were voting for. We have to take the responsibility when we're pushing that ballot, pushing that button to vote for someone, that we know what they represent, who they are, and if we know if they're white or black. Well, so, I agree with that. So, and, but uh, also, the city did not give him permission to live there. He does not have a residency permit. That's really the and issue. That, that's probably why he loses. The, the, on, the, on the race thing, who, who, I, I tell my kids, this, I've told my kids the same thing, go research and find out who you want to vote for. Yeah. But who would ever say, I've got to research to find out this guy's really African American? Well, and, 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 you know, lying consistently I mean, on his mail, the way right. he talks. So, but, but if in terms of go getting to know each person, there's 5,000 elected officials in Texas. Harris County has the largest <laughs> ballot in the country. So, you know, I have empathy for the voters to say, how am I going to know enough about every judge, right. every position that's there? So there is something about people have affinity to, to certain individuals and they vote. We're going to leave it right there. Sally, we'll be back in a few minutes uh, talk about another really, really good topic that now I can't remember what it is, but it's a good <laughs> one. It is a rock, Chris Tritico. That's we'll right, be talking a rock. about a rock idea. coming up in our last <laughs> half hour. All right. Thanks so much, guys. We appreciate it.